Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about toothbrushes and more specifically, like manual versus electric. I have used both. I recently bought the Oral B. I can't remember which one it is. I have the box, but it's on top of there. I bought the Oral B Pro One. I can read the box from here, luckily. But I bought the Oral B Pro One electric toothbrush, and I like it. It. And, but then I also have used a manual brush. I still have that manual brush for whenever I'm re cleaning like my retainer, but I don't use it to clean my teeth anymore. But I would use it if like, like I would use a manual brush if this toothbrush was charging and it, and I needed to clean my teeth. So, in terms of price point, obviously electric toothbrush is much more expensive than a manual one. You can get manual ones for like, not manual, yeah, manual. You can get manual ones for like a pound, two pound, depending on what material it's made out of. But you can also get like a pack of three. So you can get manual ones cheaper. Whereas with this, it was, I bought it for 28, however, it was half price. So typically you should expect to pay around 60, 70 pounds for an electric toothbrush. But then you've also got to think this isn't just going to last you just for like, like this head isn't going to last you like the whole time. You do need to replace the heads and depending on how many you buy, it can be quite expensive. And I think like a pack of four replacement heads, is like 18 pounds. Or is that eight? I can't remember. Or is that just the ones I want? Basically, you can expect to pay around 18, 15 to 18 pounds for a replacement head. However, a pack of two is much cheaper. But, so, it isn't just like a one-time cost. You do have to keep, like, repurchasing repurch heads. However, each head lasts around three months. So it's not as though it's a, you get through them really quickly so if you buy a pack of four you can expect it to last you the whole year so it's like 18 pounds over 12 months so it works out at like one pound 50 a month which is a manageable cost and if you buy a pack of eight obviously it lasts longer so there's that and also a manual toothbrush probably has a similar shelf life to an electric one so in terms of the head whenever the head of the manual one becomes frayed then you, that's when you should replace it and it's like the same with this like yeah basically it's the same with this you replace it when it becomes frayed i can't remember the other reason why you'd for replacement but that's one of them so but this does last three to five years so again it doesn't last the whole life it does have a actual shelf life but it works really well one of the cons of an electric toothbrush is that it does take 22 hours to charge so basically it takes like a day to charge whereas with the manual brush it's there ready to go straight away you don't need to worry about charging it so there is that but in terms of brush quality i do prefer an electric versus a manual just because with an electric you can get rid of any staining whereas it's a little harder with a manual and i always found with the manual i kept hitting my gums and so there was a little bit of like bleeding which is obviously not good whereas in order for me to try and hit those spots where there would be stains whereas I find it easier with an electric to not do that I did write at the start whilst I was trying to find my like technique which is kind of to be expected and so I found that but I do prefer a manual one and in terms of like cleanliness I do prefer the electric one I do find I do feel as though it cleans my teeth much better However, I have also started fully implementing, like using like tooth mouthwash. I was about to say tooth washing, but I have now fully implemented starting using like mouthwash. 
I use the Colgate Total Zero Hour Peppermint Blast one. I had to read it, it's over there. But I use that one and okay, yeah, I will admit whenever I use that, my teeth feel that extra cleanliness, you know, like a dentist clean. Like, you know, when you have your braces off for the first time, your teeth are obviously all that like really, really shiny. It's like that. And so I have started doing that, but honestly, yeah. And also in terms of like whiteness, obviously an electric toothbrush isn't a whitening toothbrush. However, because it removes those stains easier, it does give that appearance of being whiter and also a more even tone. And so that can help with it appearing whiter. However, you actually need like a whitening treatment or at least a whitening um, toothpaste for that. Also in terms of toothpaste, the toothpaste I use hasn't changed, it's the Colgate one. So I haven't gone out and purchased like the Oral B one. However, I would do that if like the Oral B one was like on sale and I was at uni, whatever. But because Colgate is like cheaper, I'd just go with Colgate. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I'd go with Colgate. Or is it Aquafresh? I can't remember. It's one of the two, they're very similar, I think. Don't come at me for anyone saying, yeah, they're not similar, but mm, yeah. So, also, in terms of how long does an electric toothbrush last while, like, from charge to needing to charge, it's about 10 days depending on how many times a day you clean your teeth if you clean it twice a day then it'll last you 10 days but if you maybe only clean your teeth once then you can last a little bit longer i don't think you can last 20 days but then again what day is it today it's 21st and i had to charge it all day yesterday and honestly I think I think I got it on like the fourth or something so I think if you brush it once a day then you can get it to last like 15 days but whenever I wa brush my teeth once a day they're always sort of brushed a little bit longer than two minutes so basically it's twice a day two minutes each time that it lasts for so basically like four minutes a day however you have got to think how much power is used to swivel the brush so yeah that's all I can say I kind of wanted to make this video this comparison video because obviously there might be people thinking is it worth buying an electric toothbrush and the answer is yes however I would maybe wait till there's like a sale on because I do think you're gonna get more out of your money when there's a sale on when I first tried to buy the toothbrush there was a bundle on however then super drug kind of like ran out of the replacement heads because i thought oh there's a bundle on i can get the heads cheaper but they run out so i had to be refunded that amount so there's that but honestly it all depends on personal preference However, I do think an electric toothbrush will be nicer. Like, I just prefer an electric one. I feel like it's easier to get my teeth to that nice clean feel because I always felt like with a manual brush, it, I couldn't, like, the cleanliness feel wouldn't last as long, if that makes any sense. So, like, I'd always feel like 12 hours in, my f teeth felt not as nice, whereas implementing mouthwash and um, an electric toothbrush, like even just with an electric toothbrush, I feel like they last longer, but with mouthwash they last even longer, like, oh, honestly I would recommend using mouthwash, it is so good. So. There is my comparison, obviously, again, personal preference. It's also whether you can afford it. I did buy it with birthday money, 
well it was a mixture between like it was our last of christmas money and like the start of my birthday money but i was grouping it all together but it was bought with money i was given so it wasn't as though it was like a cost i did and i was partly struggling to think of like what i should buy but i did really enjoy like before christmas i was thinking what do i want and my thoughts were a shoe rack or an electric toothbrush so I bought the shoe rack first and honestly I was only expecting to get like £30 so I thought oh I'll, I'll just buy the shoe rack. <laughs> yeah and then I got £100 Christmas, Christmas birthday money so it was like I'm going to buy the electric toothbrush as well and then I bought books like my WH Smith book haul that I did recently that was bought using birthday money so let's just say I've made good use of Christmas money I've bought stuff that's sensible and basically I'm adulting but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button uh, and let's try and get this video to five likes make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are trying to get this video this channel to 370 subscribers by the end of January so please hit that subscribe button make it happen I'm hoping this video goes up in January <laughs> but yeah make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment down below any video ideas you want to see from me and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys